Today we will go over the differences between Guillain-Barré syndrome or GBS, multiple sclerosis, and myasthenia gravis for your nursing exams. For more details on each of these conditions, please watch my videos by clicking on the links in the description. GBS, multiple sclerosis, and myasthenia gravis are all autoimmune disorders that result in neurological symptoms. GBS and multiple sclerosis both cause demyelination, in which the immune system attacks the myelin sheath, which is a protective sheath that covers nerve fibers of neurons. GBS causes demyelination in the peripheral nervous system, while multiple sclerosis affects the central nervous system. And the demyelination in multiple sclerosis causes plaque formation that can be seen on imaging. Myasthenia gravis, on the other hand, occurs in the neuromuscular junction, or NMJ, of the skeletal muscles and blocks acetylcholine receptors, resulting in muscle weakness. The most common causes for GBS are respiratory and GI viral infection as well. Flu shots, although it is rare. Viral infection can also precede multiple sclerosis, but other factors such as smoking, vitamin D deficiency have been linked to causing multiple sclerosis. Various precipitating factors, such as infections, surgeries, and some medications can lead to myasthenia gravis, but about 10% of the patients with myasthenia gravis have a thymoma, or tumor in the thymus. Durations. GBS is usually a one-time occurrence that does not relapse, although it has a sudden and rapid onset. Multiple sclerosis and myasthenia gravis can both have periods of relapse followed by periods of remission. Signs and symptoms. The characteristic symptom of GBS is the ascending muscle paralysis in which the paralysis starts in the toes or fingers and moves upwards. It can eventually involve the respiratory muscle and lead to respiratory failure. Multiple sclerosis. Results in altered sensation, balance and coordination, visual disturbances and heat intolerance in which overheating can make symptoms worse. Myasthenia gravis, on the other hand, causes fluctuating muscle weakness and involves the extraocular muscle that causes ptosis or drooping of the upper eyelid. Myasthenic crisis is a complication of myasthenia gravis that results in respiratory failure and requires intubation and mechanical ventilation. These symptoms are some of the more characteristic symptoms of each of the conditions. For more details, refer to my videos on each topic. Treatment. The mainstay of treatment for GBS is IVIG and plasma exchange. For multiple sclerosis, disease-modifying treatments are the first-line treatment, and corticosteroids are used for relapse. For myasthenia gravis, acetylcholinesterase inhibitors increase the level of acetylcholine and help with symptom management. Immunosuppressants, such as steroids and azathioprine, are the next line of treatment. IVG and plasma exchange are indicated for myasthenic crisis. Thymectomy can be done in those with thymoma, 